the first subsidiary book we are going to discuss is cash book cash book is a record of all the transactions that are related to cash for example expenses paid in cash revenue collected in cash payments made to creditors payments received from debtors cash deposited in bank withdrawal of cash for office use etc and there are two types of cash book double column cash book and triple column cash book okay in double column cash book a discount column is included on both debit and credit sides for what that is to record the discounts allowed to customers and the discount received from creditors respectively okay then what about triple column cash book when one more column that is bank is added to the double column cash book on both sides then it is known as triple column cash book so this column is included to record to record all the transactions that are related to bank understood then here we should note one thing cash book always shows a debit balance cash in hand and a part of current assets okay then since cash account is a real account we will follow the rule what debit what comes in and credit what goes out so that is about cash book next subsidiary book is petty cash book so in any organization there may be many petty transactions incurring for which payments have to be done so therefore cash is kept with an employee who deals with it and he will make regular payments out of it so to make it simple and secure mostly a constant balance is kept with that employee okay i will explain it with an example suppose cashier pays rupees 5000 to mr a who is who is an employee so he will pay the day to day organization expenses out of it so suppose mr a spent rupees 4200 out of it in a day then the main cashier pays rupees 4200 so his balance of petty cash book will be again rupees 5000 so it is a very useful system of accounting as it saves the time of the main cashier and it provides a better control next is purchase book next subsidiary book is purchase book purchase book is prepared to record all the credit purchases of an organization and this purchase book is not a purchase ledger then sales book it is same as a purchase book and here it is used to record all the credit sales okay the next is purchase return book sometimes goods are to be returned back to the supplier for various reasons so the most common reasons will be defective goods poor quality goods etc so in this case we will be issuing a debit note then sales return book here sometimes customers return the goods if they don't meet the quality standards promised so in such cases we will issue a credit note to the customer the next is bills receivables and payables book the bills are raised by the creditors to debtors the debtors accept them and subsequently they will return that to the creditors so the bills accepted by the debtors they are called as they are called as bills receivables in the books of creditors and bills payable in the books of debtors so we'll keep them in our record called bills receivable books and bills payable book So that's all about the subsidiary books.